our first fly in today's uh, introductory workshop is a fly called the AP Nymph, developed by a friend of mine, Andy Puyans, in the late 70s. We're going to reposition the, the vise for this fly so that it will act more like a Dynaking professional than an inline rotary vise. We'll get to the inline functions on future flies. But uh, you can see now that it does not turn the hook on, uh, on an inline axis. However, I'll take that out of there. It does still allow us to rotate this, and it does. we still can rotate the jaws should we wish to do so. But tilting and, and rotating is what we're going to do here. The AP Nymph is a fly not only that's going to teach you a good lesson in fly tying, but it's also one that you want to definitely have in your, in your fly box. I carry them today myself. I'm sure you'll find them useful as well. I'll start by placing the hook in the, in the jaws with the shank parallel to the table surface. Now with the vise in this position, it acts like a Dynaking professional in that when I give the fly a, fly a rotation, the hook is not on axis. But you're able to look at the other side. Now let me start my thread base slightly forward of the middle of the hook. And I'll wrap to the bend and right back to my starting position. Now I have already pre-stacked a clump of moose here, so we'll remove that from the stacker and tie it to the hook. Now I want the tail to be, well, I got one here that doesn't want to be get with the program, I better get rid of it. There we go. I want the tail to be slightly shorter than the hook shank, so I'll set that in position now and tie that to the hook. Now I'm going to wrap two or three turns and stop. And what I want to do is remove about half of the hair fibers. What that does is provide provides a profile or a, a tapered profile. That's what I'm looking for, words I'm looking for, uh, as well as constructing the table. So I get a, a tapered profile to the body. I got one hair in that tail that doesn't want to get with the program, so we'll take care of that. Now don't trim off this right here. That's going to end up being our wing case. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you a little trick. We'll bring some of BT's dubbing wax into the picture and put the dubbing on the thread. And I'm going to show you how to construct the body and the rib without uh, tying on rib material at all. You'll see how that goes here in just a minute. Let me twist that dubbing in one direction to form the noodle of, of fur. And I'll wrap towards the back of the hook. See, make sure I'm getting it on both sides. Yeah, it's doing good. Okay, I missed a spot back here in the center. Let me go back and get that. Anyway, it's important that I end up at the back of the hook with bare thread. Now, as I wrap forward, I'm forming the rib on the fly. It just makes constructing this fly a little bit faster. Now, I'll wrap a ball of thread in front. There we go. You can also place lead in this front area if you wish. Uh, wrap some lead wire on before you wrap the body. Now let me bring the dubbing wax back into the equation again. And I'm going to pull off some clumps of dubbing this time to place along the, the thread. And it's just because I want a fairly substantial front part to this fly. There we go. It's all coming together pretty good. Now let's start wrapping at the front. We'll go towards the back, back to the front, kind of crisscross a few times, building up that front part of the fly. Let me back off a little bit here and get that dubbing twisted just a little bit better. There we go. Now we'll pull the excess tail fibers over to form our wing case. I'll tilt that so you can see what we're talking about. Now let me bring the vise up and we'll just bring about three fibers off the off side or the side near me, the side away from you for legs on that side. And 